Now that we've created these fillets on the roller, our next task is to create a hex on one end of it. And to do that, quite simply, we're going to go up and we're going to select Create Sketch. And you want to hover over the end of the shaft on your roller. And once that highlights, click on it. It should flip down and face you directly. Now, there's a couple different ways to do this, but I want to point out that there is a method for picking up geometry that exists on the part already. And that's called Project. And the quickest way to get to that menu is to choose P on your keyboard. And a little menu will appear. And what we want to do is we want to pick up this ring right here. You'll notice that it highlights black. So it's the very end of that shaft. So I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to click OK. And it's hard to see, but you'll notice that it has kind of a pinkish line. There will also be a pink dot in the middle. What that did is that took the end of that shaft and dropped it, okay, or dropped the circle back onto my drawing. So essentially, this is like laying a sheet of paper over top of everything and then tracing it. Right now, that's part of my sketch, and I can use that for uh, further operations. You don't actually have to do that for what we're about to do, but if it's fighting you, it might be worthwhile to do the project function on that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to learn to use the polygon tool. So I'm going to choose Create, drop this menu down, and I'm going to select Polygon. And in this instance, we want to utilize Inscribed Polygon. So we chose Create. Polygon tool, inscribe polygon. That's going to place our polygon, in this case a hexagon, inside of the circle. So we're going to choose that. And polygons work just like the circle tool, or at least the center diameter circle tool. So I'm going to come over here and select a center point, which is that pink dot, and click on it. And as I move my mouse up, you'll notice that there's a hexagon attached. You'll also notice right over here there's a number box. We can change that depending on how many sides we want. But for this first part, we just want to leave it at six. My suggestion is to move straight up that vertical axis, that Y axis. And when you hit the edge of your circle, you should see a blue X appear, that snap right there. This is not going to work as well if you're a little bit off of the edge of the circle. When we talk about true inscribed, uh, polygons. The points of this hexagon are just touching the edge of that circle. So we're going to click there. And now we have our sketch finished. We're going to cut this away. So I'm going to choose Finish Sketch. Make sure again that we're in isometric view. Okay, You don't want to try this if you can't see it in 3D. And I would strongly suggest that you zoom in and get this nice and large on your screen. Once again you'll notice the points of the hexagon are perfectly on the rim of the circle. If that doesn't work, all right, particularly if they're smaller, this might give you some trouble. If that's the case, go back and try it again. We're going to choose the extrude button. And most people automatically go, oh, hexagon. So they go and they grab this. That's not what we actually want to do. Because we want to cut away to make this a hexagon in 3D, sort of like the head of a bolt, we actually want to choose these segments outside. There are six of them. And then you can drag to cut that away. Or we can simply type negative, so minus 0.5. That will cut away those exterior segments and leave us with a hexagon. So I'm going to choose OK. And what you should wind up with is a nice uh, hexagonal head, okay, sort of like a bolt head on the end of the shaft. Now, the other operation that you should do again is we want to break these edges. So we're going to use fillet, just like we've done before. And my suggestion is to do this in two steps. So we're going to fillet the edges. There's one in here, and there's one back here. So we've got six of those. We're going to set those to 0 0.03, breaking that edge a little bit. I can click OK. I'm going to choose Fill It Again. And because I did these, now it's really easy to do the top one. It's a solid ring. So I click on that ring, type 0 0.03, and click OK, and I've got that filleted. If you really wanted to, you could go through and actually try and add a fillet here or in here. 
but sometimes there's some interference where you have these complex transitions between this fillet, this fillet, and this one. Um, but it's up to you if you want to try that. So once you've completed this, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial. The next tutorial is one that tends to present a problem with this component, and I still don't know why it happens. Um, it happens in multiple different programs as well from Autodesk, so it's just kind of a glitch. But if you got this far, good job. Move on to the next tutorial.